So I want to take some time to talk about what is it that students should be learning right now as they go through and get their education, whether that's focus in high school or right now in, in college and universities, what should they be studying? This is a big question because the big fear is that AI is taking over everything. So does that mean all of education is useless, right? Well, of course not, because we still need people that are subject matter experts. And I think that's an important key thing here is that we need people that are smart in all sorts of different areas. So we need people that are very smart in those areas so that they can use AI to go even higher in capabilities and achievements within those fields. Now, I want to also talk about some, some great things that have, uh, have been expressed by Google CEOs dealing with, with AI, Demis Hassabis. He said some great things that I really want to make sure that, that we pay attention to, right? So he's talking about how, hey, it's great, STEM field is going to always be important, so we should continue to have students focus in the STEM fields. Yes, I totally agree, STEM field will always be important. We can't think that, hey, just because we have AI, we no longer need these experts in those fields. No, we're going to need those people. Now, a key thing is that students have to fully realize that they can't simply turn to the AI to outsource their, their whole cognition, right? And that's a big thing where we come in. We have to constantly ensure that the students are understanding that, hey, the job market is going to be rough. Why? Because AI is going to be doing a lot of the lower level tasks. That's the new reality. So the people that will succeed are the people that know more and that can accomplish more with the AI. And I wanna specifically read one, one thing that, that he specifically said that I think really, really hits it. Hasabiz predicts that AI will create new, very valuable jobs over the next five to 10 years, particularly benefiting technically savvy people who are at the forefront of using these technologies. He compared AI's impact to the industrial revolution. And that's a, that's a common thing, right? Talking about how AI's impact is going to be like the industrial revolution. Uh, another CEO, uh, tech uh, CEO from, from Google stated that it's like the invention of fire. It's that impactful, okay? Great, so how do we do this? How to, do we really develop these type of skills working with AI? Well, he made a good comment about that too. He talked about the importance of hands-on AI experience and how that's essential for future success. He recommended that students gain practical experience with AI systems. I'd also be experimenting with all the latest AI systems and tools and seeing what's the best way of utilizing them and making use of them in useful and novel ways. Right there, that is a key nugget. We have to help our students get in there and start to use the AI, creating situations where they have hands-on experience with the AI, experiential learning, this is key. It, the, the thing is that higher education needs to switch. It, it needs to be very much hands-on and experiential. They need to be able to start to understand this at a much higher level, use it, understand it. I mean, the, the development of this and the integration of AI into every field, into every aspect of what we do in work, in research, even as a regular civilian is, is unparalleled, right? And it continues to grow. So that means that students really need to develop these skills. We can't have a higher education system that ignores this or that tries to say, no, you can't use AI. Of course, there are issues with academic misconduct, but we have to circumvent those things. We have to understand, hey, yes, there are issues, but here's how we can use it properly. Here's how we can integrate. And that's what we need to be focusing on, helping our students to be able to use this technology so that when they graduate, they're able to achieve these higher and higher things within the workplace, within the research, all of this. This is extremely important. Now, there's, there's another key aspect here from this, from this uh, write-up. It states that today's children will become AI native, similar to how previous generations grew up with the internet. This technological fluency will be essential as companies increasingly use AI for tasks like coding, with major tech firms including Meta, Microsoft, and Google already implementing these tools. Hasabisa and Google co-founder Sergey Brin predicted general intelligence when AI matches or exceeds human capabilities could arrive around 2030. 
This timeline underscores the urgency for students to prepare for an AI-dominated future. That's a whole other thing, right? Where once we have general AI intelligence and it's able to do everything at such a high level, will we still need people? Yes, of course we will still need people to be able to work alongside the AI to accomplish greater and greater things. But the only people that will be successful in that are people that have advanced AI skills. So we have to understand this and we have to integrate AI within our teaching, within the learning process itself. And there's another key little thing that I like what, what was stated here. Hospice maintains that the technology will ultimately supercharge workers who understand how to leverage these powerful new tools effectively. Hasabis said that AI will help humans colonize the galaxy in as soon as five years. That's a pretty grandiose statement, but I wouldn't doubt it. Things are escalating so quickly. We're having great improvements in all sorts of technologies to include space travel technologies. So who knows what, what can happen here in the very near future. Now, in another interview, he also stated that one of the key things that students need to develop right now is their ability to learn. They need to learn how to learn. And that is so true, so important, because in this, this new era of AI development where things change so quickly, that is another big thing is that we have to ensure that our students are understanding that, hey, a lot of the things that they're learning right now might completely change in the future as things continue to advance. So we need to ensure that we're helping our students to understand how can they continually learn, developing that, that lifelong mindset within them and then helping them to see, oh, this is how you can access information. You need to be someone that enjoys reading, right? So that you continue to develop. But where can I access additional information? Good YouTube channels, good books, attending conferences, using the AI in an appropriate way to help you learn, not just to get answers, but to help you understand, to help you gain insights into the process and in developing your capabilities to be able to achieve greater and greater things. This is the key thing that we have to understand. And these are the things that students need to be learning as they go through and getting their education. So I'm very interested in your thoughts. What do you think? Does this make sense? Is there more to this? What are your thoughts? Please share them right in the comments. And then together we can continue to develop and understand this as we continue to move forward. And remember, learning is for life. Thank you, everyone. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.